Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you around the user interface of Adobe Premiere Pro. So when you first launch Premiere Pro, you're going to be created with the home screen. You can create a new project or open a project that you've recently been working on. In this case, let's click Create New Project. Here, you can choose a name for your project and also where to save it. You also have some other general settings you can adjust but I'm going to leave everything as it is by default. Once you press OK, you'll be launched into the Adobe Premiere Pro interface. And from here, we have a few main sections to look at. But to really make sense of what these are all for, let's actually import some footage into our project so we can see what everything's doing. Now, in the bottom left corner here, we have our project media bin. And this is where we can import all of the footage and clips or graphics that we have. So there's many different ways that you can import. One easy one is just by dragging things in. So if I have a folder of clips on my desktop, I can simply highlight, drag and drop those clips in. Or you can always right click and import and browse for clips. Also, like any other program, you have access to save, create new projects and more from the file dropdown. But from here, you see this is the project media bin. This is where we can organize and check out everything we're working with. It's sort of like our artist palette. And if we ever click and drag one of these media clips onto our timeline section, which is this box right here, you'll see that it'll automatically create a new sequence based on the size and dimensions of this clip. And you can see we've got a pretty standard timeline editor down here with all of our layers and all of the clips that we can drag the timeline through. And we have our program window right here which shows us what we're looking at on the timeline. So we can edit and see what's going on. And from the left and the right of this, we have a few other main sections of our interface. So if I have a clip highlighted, you'll see on the left hand side box here, we have a few different windows. One of the main ones is the effect controls panel. This allows us to control certain aspects of each clip, such as the position, the scale, the rotation, and things like that and work with basic tools such as keyframes if we wanted to make animations. Within each one of these panels, you also have a few different tabs that we can switch through. So you have the effect controls, but you can also see the source clip. So if I ever double click on anything, I can check out this clip in its entirety. Let's say if I only had one small section of a clip and I wanted to see what that clip was in its entirety, I can do that in the source window. We also have the Lumetri scopes, which can give us visual information about the brightness and color channels in the image when we're color grading, color correcting. We have audio mixers and many other tools that we might not always use for each clip, but they're there. Now on the right hand side, we also have a bunch of tabs that are stacked on top of each other that we can collapse or expand, such as the info about the clip, the effects panel. This is where all the video effects and video transitions live, where we can click and drag them in between or on clips. And we also have the essential graphics panels where we can add text or preset titles and screens that Adobe provides, as well as things like the Lumetri color panel, like I was mentioning with the scopes, where you can adjust color, curves, contrast, and things like that. And if you ever want to open a particular window or see where something is, you can always go to the window dropdown and check things on or off. And you also have the ability to arrange and drag things however you like. So if for some reason you like your effects control panel down here, you can put it down there. Or if you want to pop out your scopes for a second, you can undock certain panels and move them wherever you like. Adobe does have some pre-organized workspaces for you up at the top here. So let's say something that works on assembly of clips, something that focuses on color or just on effects where they've arranged windows in different ways that are better for working on audio or assembly. However, me personally, I always just like working mostly with the default workspace. So you can always go to window workspace, all panels and window workspace reset to saved layout. And you can get back to your saved layout and maybe adjust certain windows how you like. So that's a basic introduction to the interface of Adobe Premiere Pro. And in the next episodes of this series, we're going to be diving more into the media bin, timeline, and checking out some editing basics. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.